Hello, everyone. This is Glory Talk. Welcome. Today is April 15, 2023. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is a little bit chillier out today. <laughs> it was really cold this morning. Um, there was a big old rain, uh, kind of rainstorm come through, and um, it just kind of chilled everything off. But you know what? It's really nice still. So I was just enjoying it today. And um, I encourage you guys to go outside and enjoy the weather. Enjoy the things that God gives you. Enjoy the things that are out in nature. And enjoy getting out. Because it's really worth it going out there just to soak up what God is all about. And that he is his universe, what he created. And uh, boy, I tell you, it's, wor it's worth it. It's totally worth it. So anyway, thanks for, uh, <coughs> excuse me, thanks for tuning in. Um, please like, subscribe, and follow and share all the videos. Hey, it gets me out there. It gets God out there, and that's what we need to do. That's our mission, to get God out there, share it to everyone. Get God out there to everyone. And also, if you want to give to me, it's at Glory Talk. So, and that is also at paypal.me slash Glory Talk. That's, uh, yeah, if you want to give, that'd be great. And uh, thank you. Thank you very much for that. And also, um, remember I'm on YouTube and Facebook under Glory Talk. You'll see a picture of me and that's all I, that's the only places I'm at. And uh, yeah, that's about it, isn't it? Okay, Lord, let's go ahead and see what the Holy Spirit wants to do. Let's do a little praying and just go there. Let's do that. Hmm, okay. All right. Father God, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, thank you for everything you've done. You are worthy to be praised. Praise you, Heavenly Father. Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, come show us what you want us to talk about. Show us what you want us to lead to and through us to talk up you to lift you up in order for you to lift us up because you do that holy spirit jesus christ god the father you do that you honor those who praise you you honor those who lift you up you honor those who bring you to the world and to the people to hear what you want to get out there thank you for everything you've done. I'm so honored that you chose me to do this, to get it out to these people and to everyone. And I'm so honored and thank you for it. And please, I ask that only you come through and get the message out that you want to get out every day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, amen. You know, God... Okay, I've been listening to the Holy Spirit here. God God tells me, he says, you know, just remind them. Remind them uh, to pray from your heart and to pray from their hearts. Pray from your heart and uh, remind them that that was an example of prayer. You know, it's just like um, communicating, just regular average prayer. Do it from here. If you're frustrated, do it from there. If you're, if you're full of praise, do it from there. If you're full of, of hurt and pain, lift it up to God so he can take care of it, you know? Lift them up. Lift it up there. God will take care of it. God will answer you. God will take follow through with something. He will guide you and say, Lord, please get me to that place you want me to be. If there's something I can do and calm the heart, calm the mind, you know, anything and everything. Ask in, and that's what it says in the word. Ask in anything and everything. Amen. And it's in the Word. Look that one up. And God keeps telling me, have everybody look it up. They have to do the work. They have to do the work. <laughs> Praise God. So I'm just being guided by the Holy Spirit today. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I felt your presence. I, I felt a washing come over me from God. So that's cool. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, just acknowledge him too, you know. I acknowledge Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, and God the Father. They're all a part of the Trinity, but I acknowledge all three. I recognize their parts um, because they show me 
their parts. You know, they show me who they are. And that's why I recognize them. And uh, um, most people don't do that, but you can. And, um, and get to know them. Um, but they operate as one, as God. So that's a general thing, you know, you can do too. You know, just say, hey, Lord, or God, or thank you, Lord Jesus, or thank you, Holy Spirit, or thank you, God the Father. You know, it all works. They all interchange together. They all exist together as one, to operate as one. So just to let you know, if you didn't know that, that is the way it operates. Um, of course, they have their separate roles, but I, I like to do that because it helps me differentiate everything, you know, it help, helps me understand the roles of what they do. And so that way it's, it's easier to, um, Ooh, it's easier to, to prove, to teach about it. It's easier to recognize it. It's easier to, um, just be more effective in my walk. And I don't know about yours, but it is very effective in my walk. And I want to encourage you to get to a place in your life where when you walk with God, you understand your role with him. You know, you understand that he is God, that that is who he is. And okay, let's just follow the Holy Spirit here. See if that's okay. The role of God. So Father God is a very fatherly God. You know, he's the one that is the father. Um, he's so wonderful. You know, he was there when he created the whole earth and he spoke everything into existence. And guess who was with him? And it says the word was with him. Who was the word? The word was Christ. And then he says the spirit went out and that is the Holy Spirit. So look that up. And um, it's very important, you know, it, it acknowledges and it describes how everything worked and how the creation came through and the creation came to be. And um, it's really encouraging um, to see that and read that. I really encourage you to read Genesis and then read um, the beginning of the New Testament too, because read the beginning of the Old Testament, read the beginning of the New Testament. It's something that gives you a hint about how everything was created, how everything came to being, and and as for wisdom, understanding, discernment, um, to understand it. Because when you do that, he will show you. He will show you in ways you never thought imagined. I tell you, he will show you things like that, and he will show you levels of it. Because when you come into alignment with God, you get into what he's trying to do in your life and, and just seeking him. And um, when you go into it and just seek him more and more and more, he starts and then ask him for wisdom, understanding, discernment. And then he'll start giving you revelation. And he'll start giving you revelation upon revelation upon revelation. And um, there's different depths of it and different levels of it. And... Um, more understanding and more und uh, discernment, more of everything. And uh, it's really encouraging to, to do that. I grant, I must admit though, there's days where it doesn't work very well for me. And then there's days where it's just bam, right on, you know, there's, ba there's days where I'm actually zoning in, you know, and I'm actually tuning in and I can hear everything coming my way. And then there's days where it's like, mm, I'm flighty, you know, I, I'm cloudy or flighty or my focus is off and, and I go, Lord, please help me focus on you. Help me focus. So do that and actually help. He'll help you do that. Just say, Lord, I need help focusing on you. I need help focusing on what you're trying to tell me today. And, and maybe there's not a lot that day. Maybe. Oh, I need to adjust this a little bit. But anyway, maybe there's not a lot that day, but he is telling you usually every day something because he's just that kind of God. He wants to take care of his people. He wants to take care of you. He, you're, you're his children. And since you're his child, he wants to take care of you just like a father and mother would take care of a child. 
Now, I understand some of you, some of you did not have a great upbringing. You did not have that great of upbringing and, and a great mother and child figure over you or help getting you to where you need to be. So, and there are a lot of people that are broken and brokenness is okay because you know what God does? He comes in and takes care of it. When you ask to be um, healed and when you ask to be mended and when you ask to be um, just brought in up in his ways, man, he will. He'll guide you the way you should go. He'll guide you in that way. He will get you in that way and to where you will um, go towards that prize and to be more Christ-like. And so that is so obvious in my life. And it was only because I wanted it really bad. I wanted what he had to offer. I wanted what God had to offer. I wanted what he had to offer to me. So let's just wait on the Holy Spirit a little bit. Guidance. I heard him say guidance. Ask for guidance. So remember, you guys, God is at your disposal every minute, second, every millisecond of the day. He he wants to talk to you. So ask for his guidance. Ask for his guidance. It's so easy to say, Lord God Almighty, I ask for your guidance in my life. I ask for guidance in where I should go next. I ask in guidance for the next positive step into my life, the next positive step to do your will for my life, see? And that's what you do, you know, you just say, please, and then you you just speak to him. Say, Lord, please help me. Help me get there and just say it with your words, you know, and pray into it and speak it. Just speak to him because he'll he'll acknowledge you. He'll hear you. And just say, you know, I need more wisdom, understanding and discernment. I need to know the next step in my life. And he'll start showing you things, what you're going to do. And he'll start showing you what you need to do to get there. Or else he'll want to correct something before you get there. Or he'll want to work on something before you're going to get there. See, and... Um, it's not by accident, by the way. It's not, there's no such thing as coincidence anymore with God. There's no such thing as coincidence. It's meant to be. When your life is like this with Christ and asking God into your life and, and going into serving him, there's no coincidence anymore. It's all set up and made for you. Um, he keeps telling me failure is not an option because failure is built in. <laughs> That's what he keeps telling me, you know, and I fail. I fail at times, you know, and failure is just built in. He keeps saying, Randy, failure is built in. It's okay. I've got you. You're going in the right direction. And if not, just say, I'm sorry, Lord. I, I didn't do that right. Forgive me. And that's all you got to do. He just wipes it away just like that. And he takes it out just like that. You're made brand new here. You've been made brand new when you ask Jesus into your life, when you ask for forgiveness of sins, when you believe what he has to say to you and what he wants you to do. <clears throat> Everything's taken care of. Now, granted, if you want to fall back into sin, he will allow you to do that. He will allow you to fall into sin. So that's why it's very important to get into the word and to get into what he wants you to do. If you return to your past ways of sin, he's going to allow you to go back into your sin. He's a God that allows you to have a choice of what to do, a choice to what to do in your life. And that is what he made it to be. That's how he made it to be. You know, he wants you to choose him. He wants you to follow him. He wants you to actively... Mm, Actively look to him. Thank you, Lord. Actively, actively pray to him. Actively follow him. Your, your spirit inside of you will start bearing witness to following him. It will start bearing witness to what is around you. Your spirit will notice if things are off. Your spirit will notice if things are not quite right and how you need to avoid those things that are not quite right. And ask him, just ask him. 
I do that a lot to people when they ask me about it. I said, I usually go, so have you asked God yet? <laughs> you know, what did God say about it yet? And they go, I don't know. Well, then they didn't, you know, they didn't ask him. They didn't wait long enough. Um, they didn't actually do the work. They didn't actually do the work to ask him. And sometimes you got to wait a little bit. And sometimes you got to just wait patiently for what he's trying to do in your life. Because sometimes it's, it's not immediate, you know? He's still giving, he's still working on you. He's still giving you a work to do in your life. He's still setting you in motion towards the steps you're, you're going, you know? So you have to be patient enough to realize what he's doing in your life and how he's getting you there. And you will know inside of you if it doesn't feel right, unless you're in frustration and under manipulation and under um, fear, well, that's not going to work in your life. Um, if you're being constantly in, in anxiety and fear, it's not going to let you move forward in God's preparation for you and his step for you. So you have to say, fear, anxiety, get out of my life. Say it in Jesus' name. Fear and anxiety get out of my life. And it's an attack. If it's an attack from the devil, and it usually is, it usually is, or else you just allowed it to be there. Just say, devil, get out of my head in Jesus' name. Fear and anxiety, leave me in Jesus' name. It's that easy. And keep doing it until you get it. If you're under a situation of manipulation, you ask Jesus to change that situation of that manipulation. You ask, to ch you ask Jesus and Holy Spirit and God the Father to change what you're under. If you're under some kind of control and manipulation, you ask him to change it for you and to get rid of it for you. And you say, control and manipulation, leave me in Jesus' name. If it's an authority figure over you, you're going to have to actually come against that kind of spirit that is always bad for you. So if it is a spirit that is over you and trying to control you and manipulate you, then You've got to pray into that and say, okay, Lord, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to say this? How do you want me to pray this? And then you go, spirit of manipulation, spirit of control. I tell you to get out of my life in Jesus' name. I tell you, to, and I break you off of me in Jesus' name. And that's what you do. You know, you take that authority like it says in the word. You have been given power and authority by your words. Your words are powerful. And the reason why is because God spoke everything to, into existence now. And once we ask Jesus into our lives, we are co-heirs in Christ. So we have the power and authority that Christ had in his words, in his believing for miracles, signs, and wonders that follow into doing his will for your life. So we have that power and authority. We have to take that action. Remember, there's always an action behind it. It's not like you trying to get saved or you're trying to get it's not the works trying to get you there. It's the behind the faith that you're putting it into. Like if Jesus said, take up your mat and walk to the crippled person beside the pool, well, then you do an action. He, I remember he said, he just complained about nobody helped him get into the pool to be healed. See? And so he was always by that pool. So Jesus said, well, do you want to be healed? But he, all he did is complain that nobody helped him get into the pool to be healed. And so it says, no, he says, do you want to be healed? And finally his action, he says, take up your mat and walk. And he just did the action. Then he did the action and he started believing. He started going, okay. He took up his mat and walked. It was that behind that. It was the walking out of that faith, walking your faith out behind it. That's what you were doing. And so that's what that man was doing. He was saying, okay, I'm going to do it. And he just, his faith gave him that little bit amount. And it only takes a mustard seed, by the way. And I just felt the Holy Spirit show up. I felt, I felt God's presence show up. It only takes a, a seed of a mustard seed, which is very tiny, to do the action behind the miracle, behind the signs, wonders, and miracles that follow. It's that easy. And... Um, that's just so awesome. I'm just seeing it in my head right now. It's like a, I'm seeing it in my head to where it's like, wow, that was must have been quite a day to see that happen. 
I think it's awesome. I think it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my, you know, in my life. I can see it in my head right now. It's like a vision. And um, God gives you that, by the way. I want you to know that God gives you things in your head for like visions and, and dreams and, and circumstances in your head that it's almost like your imagination, but it's like, I can see it. I can actually see it in my head. And um, he just, he, he activated it, got up and walked. He activated his faith, just like that. Do you want to be healed? Yes. He finally just did it. It was your action behind it. Do the action. Yes, do the action to move forward in your life. God's saying something to you. I can see it. I can see it. Some of you are setting on this. Some of y'all are setting on this. It happens to me too. You know, I sit on it for a while sometimes and not actually follow through. And it happens in all our lives. But when you set on something and you're not doing it, you're not doing what he's saying to do, or you're not doing the action behind the faith that you're supposed to be doing something, oof, oof, it's speaking to me right now. Um, yes, Lord, because God, an example, God told me to do videos. I'm not that kind of person. I thought my niche was something else. I thought my ministering was something else. And so... It wasn't until he said no, because he's giving me prophetic words. And I didn't even believe that at first, but it started happening. And when I started just letting God and believing, that's it. I was believing that he wanted to give me prophetic words, that he wanted me to write everything down. And he wanted to give me prophetic words. And then I started believing it. It only took a seed of faith, a little small seed, a mustard seed of faith. And then it started happening. I started writing. And I go, that's all it took. And so when that prophetic words came through, that was an example of how I started it. And then he said, God said, now I want you to do it in video. <laughs> I go, oh no, and talk to people about him. And I said, okay. So I, it took me a while. I was in denial. I was in denial, but he was speaking to me quite a few months already before I actually said, okay, okay, I'll do it. And it was that little seed, that mustard seed of faith behind that, that behind that thing he told me to do. And I did that action, that little seed of faith. And I did that action. I started practicing. I started practicing. I'd, I'd put on my phone and I'd start talking. And then I'd, I winged it, you know. And I started doing it when I was driving back and forth. I was still working back then. So I was driving back and forth to work. And I would put it on my console and just practice on the way home. Or practice work or whatever it was during that time. And... There were too many times it was funny. I'd get, I'd get going, you know, I'd, I'd start really rough, you know, and then I remember get going and then all of a sudden the phone would fall when I turned <laughs> or something like that, you know, it's kind of like, oh, but you know what? It was all, it was all for him. It was all for practice. It was all for his glory. And um, it got me used to talking in front of the camera, talking in front of the phone camera, you know, and so, uh, and then it just kind of happened naturally. God just kind of took over. He says, I want you to do this. I said, okay, okay. So I just did it. And um, it was rough. It wasn't perfect. I mean, look at my first videos. It wasn't perfect. But, uh, and I'm still trying to get it right, you know. I'm still trying to do it as well as I can. And this is what God has me do. So that's just me being me. And I'm not, I never thought I was this kind of person to teach like this. And here I am, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm lifting God up, teaching about him, teaching about his word, telling him and telling everybody what he wants to say during this time and era to get out to everybody. And that's what he wants me to do. Um, and that's what I'm doing. And I'm so honored he chose me to do this. And I'm so honored you're listening to it because he said, you'll be surprised. This is what God told me. He says, you're going to be surprised the reach you're going to have out there for people to hear me and see me through you. And I'm, I am very surprised the reach that God has given me to reach people for him. Very, very surprised. I'm just very honored and I'm honoring God. I, I thank you, Father, God, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. Thank you. And uh, boy, how do his presence just shows up, you know? And I, I can feel his presence because we're honoring him and uh, because we honor him, he honors us. And he shows up. He's showing up so much lately. 
And I got to remember to keep honoring him and talking him up because, um, and just praising him and just singing to him, you know, and talking to him and he'll show up. And, and that's what my life has been lately. Um, it's a little hard at times because of the time we're in and the transition that we're coming into. It's really hard because um, the devil has, has um, not giving the devil credit, but he's been, um, the enemy has been trying to do stuff and um, distract and cause problems. So, you know, I've had to pray against that all the time. And I do every day. And, you know, you got to put in extra prayers sometimes, you know, extra coming against the devil, coming against this, coming against that in Jesus' name, you know, because you do. And you got to speak God's word over the situation and God's word over all of it. And that's what I do. And I have to look it up sometimes because I don't know all of it, you know, and, and we're, we're not just perfect, you know, that way, but we're learning and I'm still a learning individual. And I'm just this vessel that's God using to get the word out there. And that's what we are. And I'm a willing vessel to get the word out to everyone. And it's only because of me being willing he has provided a way to do this. And I'm so honored for it. I'm so blessed for it. And here he is again. I can feel his presence, you know. And I'm so honored. And I'm giving you an example of what God does in our lives. He shows up in our lives like that. And he's confirming the word that I'm talking about. And I'm speaking him through me to you. And he's confirming it by showing up and his presence showing up. And you'll notice that when you do that with people. You'll notice it at times. So get into practice with that and keep talking God up because you're going to notice his presence showing up to confirm his word, to confirm his, who he is. And God will give signs, wonders, and miracles that follow. And his presence will show up because in these days, we're going to see more presence of God, more presence of everything about him and all his attributes his love, his kindness, his mercy, his, his goodness, everything about him. So it's more of these things are going to show up while the evil is being taken out. And so these things are coming through too. And remember, God's going to protect you during this time in transition while all the evil is coming down. All of God's wonderful glory and praise and holy fire is going to show up. And he's going to take care of his people. And, you know, you have to be in tune with him sold out to him in order to receive the benefits. So keep pressing forward. Don't be distracted by the de the devil and all the things he's doing around you because it looks pretty ugly out there. I've noticed it a little bit here and there, but um, I don't really pay too much attention to it um, because it's just not valid, but we pray against those things and that's what we are to do. Um, because what did he say? God says, and this is what he personally told me too, besides looking for it in the word. He said, you speak against the evil, not about it. You don't promote the evil, you speak against it. See, there's a difference. And then when you speak things into your life, you speak God's blessings, God's authority, God's holy fire. You speak um, God's love. You speak God's peace. You speak God's joy. You speak God's um, words from his word that over you. You speak those blessings over you. That's what you're going to receive. And that's what you're going to get. So if you speak, thank you, Holy Spirit, God, the Father, Jesus Christ, I feel his presence. Praise God. That's what people need to hear. And that's why he's showing up. Thank you, Lord. He will give you blessings when you speak blessings over you. When your daily life is I'm going to do great at this. I'm going to get things done. I'm going to praise God while I do it. Um, I'm going to show people his love. I'm going to show people my smile to everyone because that's God shining through me. And I'm going to show people love from God through me. So you say things like that and then you start doing it. And um, you get a blessing spoke over your life. Um, and and so that's what you do. Now, if you speak, I'm never going to amount to anything, or I always do this wrong, then guess what? You speak over yourself. You get what you speak over yourself. You're going to do it wrong. Do you see what I mean? You will do it wrong. You're, you're backing 
you're backing up what you say. So in the spirit, that happens. So what you want to do is you want to back up what you say, what you want to say over your life in the positive, in the love, in God's glory, and God's holy fire, and God's kindness, his mercy, his love. Think about it. What exactly do you want in your life during the day? You know, I want to get up. So as an example, I want to get up and I want to, I want to seek God. And that's what I do. And so I get up and I take, uh, I take communion every day. And I like that because it gets everything in perspective and it puts things back where it needs to be every morning. And so I do that. So I put that over my life right away and I put it over my people that I pray for too right away. And then I keep praying through the day and I keep praying my, see, I have certain prayers. I like to pray over everybody. So I do that in the morning. I get it done as fast as I can, but sometimes it takes a while because I'm still seeking God and he'll have me seek this or, or talk about this and this and this and this and he'll show me something else. But, but that's what I do. So that's the kind of thing I do in my day. So what I, what I do is that I get what I seek. Ah, so if I seek God and he shows me things from his word and he says, I want you to talk about this, or I want you to know this about you. And this is, you know, they're love letters, like love letters from God. If you look in God's Bible, those are like love letters to you. It's all about his love to you. It's all about his wonderful things he can do for you. And um, that's what I love about it. So those things remind you of what he's going to do for you. So you speak those things over your life. You put those things into your what? into your mind so you look here and you hear and it goes straight down into your soul remember every time you do something your eyes ears it goes straight down to your soul every time if there's something that was not supposed to be there you need to tell it to get out and loosen it from your soul and that's what binding and loosening is all about in the bible look it up whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in, bound in heaven whatever you loosen on earth shall be loosened in heaven and so that is what that's talking about yeah look it up so that's what you can do and get that out of your soul and loosen it out of your soul if it doesn't need to belong there. Do it every day. I do it every day. And as an example, I will ask God, and this is Jesus that actually did this for the or us. So I ask Jesus to pull those things out of our souls that don't belong there, to loosen all those things that don't belong there from our souls. And I wait it out until it happens. And you can tell when it happens. And you can do that. Just loosen those things from your soul that don't belong there and that's all you got to do. And then what do you want to bind to yourself? Well, you bind your soul to Jesus, Holy Spirit, and God the Father. And then you bind yourself to them. And that will cleanse out everything that's inside there. It will cleanse out everything. And then you're bound to God. You're, you're bound to him. And what is him? He is everything about peace, love, mercy, kindness, everything about him. That's what you're going to get in your life. It's so wonderful. It takes care of a lot of things, by the way. And I've got a lot of teachings out there like that, and I don't feel led to do it right now. But that's a very simple way of doing it every day. Um, and he wanted me to say that. Just remind you of it. Remind you of it. And look it up. Yeah. This is what he had me to talk about today. I wasn't really sure, but um, this is what he led me to do. This is what God led me to do today. Oh, it was such wonderful feeling him too. And I'm feeling him again. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, everybody needs it, by the way. Everybody needs God's presence on them. So I release God's presence on everyone through the phone and you'll receive it. And just breathe it in if you need to do an action. And that's an action. And now you're going to receive God's presence. Um, that's how we can spread it. I can release the anointing of Jesus Christ through the phone. And then you can do that too and just do an action. Breathe in and I receive the anointing of Jesus Christ and you will. And that anointing from Jesus is a presence, a deposit of Jesus, of God in your life. He'll never leave, by the way. And if you're not saved, if people are not saved, then it gives them a great opportunity for them to know it and to know how to get saved. And God will present in them, God will present to them in a way that they will get Jesus and his word.
presented to them so they have ability and they have a choice to make a choice for asking Jesus in their lives. And that's how it works. If I want to release peace on you, I will. So I'll, I'll just say, I release the peace of God on you. And now you, you receive it. Then you're going to get it. And you can say, I receive the peace of God on me. And then you can even breathe it in as an action. And that action, and believe the action, by the way. Believe what you do behind the action. Believe what you do behind the action. It's very important. Believe it. And now you believe that you're getting the peace of God on you. Amen. That's all it is. It's really simple. You just have to believe what you say. You have to believe what you want in your life. And you have to believe that you're going to get it. Believe that. So you'll always get these wonderful things in your lives. And you'll and God, what? He will never depart from you. Never, ever depart from you. Oh, praise God. And that seems like to be the it, isn't it, Holy Spirit? We're good. Okay. Let's see what we can end with here. Let's do a little prayer. Okay. That the Holy Spirit says, go ahead and pray. All okay. right. Holy Spirit, God the Father, Jesus Christ, I thank you for everything you've done. You are worthy to be praised. Bless your holy name. I ask that everything we talked about today is instilled into our minds and our hearts and our souls. And we put it in our lives. We put it in our will because that's all a part of our will. And I ask that you put all that in our wills to be built up in you and to be built up to do your bidding, to be shown the steps along the way, to be this servant for you. A wonderful servant for you and to come in obedience of what your word says to us and obedience to what you're telling us and we follow through with it mm. the action behind it we follow the action behind it and the believing of it yes and we follow through to make it part of our lives and make you and have you in our lives and everything we do is going to be for you be sold out to you, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and God the Father. And nothing else will do. And I ask that that does, and it comes in, it stills into us, and we receive it, and we all receive it. And we follow through. In your name, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Good prayer. Always a good prayer when you pray. Praise God. So uh, please like, subscribe, and share, and follow all the videos, words, and posts that I do. It gets God out there to everyone. It, helps, it lets me do this more. And um, also, uh, if you want to give, give to Glory Talk. It's paypal.me slash glory talk. That's where I'm at right now. I am, I'm working on other ways too, but right now this is what he's got me doing. It's because of everything that's going on in my life right now. This is what I've got done. And also... Um, be cheerful, you know, enjoy that life. Because what, what is it God had me say the other day? I'm starting to do this. So in God, embrace life, live it to the fullest, enjoy it, seize the moment for God. Do what you need to do in your life to promote yourself with God and for God. And just do that. He will bless you for it. He will bless you and bless you and bless you. Mm, praise God. So until next time, I love you guys very much, and I'll see you really soon. Goodbye.